If you do client work, you may have tried to share a page like this one, where you're sharing with your client what is the status of the current project. But since all the tasks of your projects are in the same database, you may have realized that you are indeed sharing all the tasks with that client, as we can see in the view that the client will have. Here will be all the tasks. So probably after seeing this, you would have said, okay, this is a notion limitation. This is not something that really can be done. So I'm just gonna use email to tell my client what's going on. But after some digging around, I have found a way to actually make this possible. So we will be able to share what is the current status of our client's project without sharing all this private information that we don't want the client to see. Okay, let's see how this is done. So for this, the easiest setup to have is to have two databases, one with the client projects and another one with the tasks related to those projects. So for example, these are the, the real databases that I use in my life. And here we have the projects and here we have the projects. So both databases, tasks and projects are linked. If you are new to Notion, this is just done by creating one extra property and with the type relation, okay? And then you will select where do you want to relate this database to? So in our case is the projects and then just add relation, okay? So since this is something that we will be sharing with our clients on an ongoing basis, so meaning that every new client that we have, we will want to share the same view with them, then it makes sense to create a projects template. So every time we can run it and it's gonna be much faster. So in this template, what we are gonna be including is a, a linked view of the tasks database, which is the information that we want to be sharing with the client. And here, what we want is to filter by the project task status template, which is the same template over here. So this means that whenever we are gonna run this template, this filter is going to be changed by whatever project is in here. And now a very important thing to do is instead of just leaving this as a simple filter, we need to turn it into an advanced filter. The reason for this is that if we don't do this, whenever we share this with our client, he will be able to change the simple filter. So he will be able to see all of our tasks, but this doesn't happen with the advanced filter. So he will not be able to modify this filter. So once this is done, say for everyone, then we will clean up the, the properties just to show the properties that we really want to show the client and that will be it. So now if we come to the client project, which is in the projects database, we will run the template that we just built. And as you can see in the filter, we already have Acme project, okay? As I said before. So now let's prepare all of this so we can give access to the client to just this information over here. So for this, we need to do several things, okay? First of all, to give access to the client to this page, I'm gonna use one of my test accounts and give it access to it. Here I am, and not full access, we just want the can view permission. So right now, having shared this with the client, this is the view that the client will have. But here the problem will be is that the client can click here and see all my tasks, okay? So, so far, this is not what we want. But what we have already achieved is that he's not able to filter this view. He's just able to add a filter over my filter. And since this filter is already just showing the tasks that are related to this project, then he will just be able to filter within his own tasks. So then how can we fix that the client doesn't have access to all of our tasks? So this has a very easy fix. This is from my, from my own account, not the test one. So I will go to the tasks database. And what I'm going to do is, since from the client side, what he can see is the core database and this view over here, the all open um, view. So here I have the all open view, which is in my backend, that if you've been following my videos, you know that I like to put all my databases in one and only place and then use linked databases throughout my workspace. So the only thing that I have to do here is to create a filter that hides everything over here. So, so far I have the filter that done is unchecked. So I'm going to add that done is checked. So of course this is not matched in any of my rows. So this view is empty. So now if we go back to the client side, we can see that this view is indeed empty. 
and that I cannot really change the, the filter. I can just filter within this that I'm seeing. There is nothing I can do. There is no, no filter that I, can, that I can use. So now the only thing that I would add is to go back to my account, to the Acme project page, and I will just hide the database title. And here, maybe I will just rename it to, to the name of the project. So from the client side, everything is much more visual. And that will be it. Now, from the client side, the only thing that he can do is to go here, open as a page, and then in the breadcrumbs, he will be able to go to our task, but oh, everything is hidden. So there is actually no way that I have found <laughs> that the client can actually see all our data. And since we have just shared this page within the project database, he will just have access to this a project, not to our entire project's database. So that is it. Now, whenever you mark something as ready or you write comments, so every time the client will have the most updated information at all times. So we will be saving like these 30 minutes that it takes us to write an email explaining how the situation is. The client will just have to log into Notion and see what's going on. Well, if you found this useful and you still wanna get more out of Notion, I have this video over here in which I dive deep in some of the automations that I use for my business that are saving me at least four hours per week. So you may as well check it out. So that is it for today, guys, and as always, hasta la próxima.